I got my garden tilled and then I made myself some rows and Terry and I laid the drip tape according to the directions that Hoss gives and they have a video out about it pretty easy and now I'm coming back and covering up and then I'm gonna lay my heavy-duty weed barrier because I'm not fighting the weeds this year and that weed uh, I mean that drip irrigation system there's 1640 foot of drip tape available 100 foot of main line so I actually have enough tape that if I wanted to do phase two I could I would just need to buy a tiny bit more of um, or another roll of the main line only because I used it going all the way up to the house hose instead of hooking it to a garden hose I went directly to the line because it's got a water filter system on it and on my garden hose I have a water filter system that I got off of Amazon so phase two garden is going to be beans and squash and things uh, that's not going to require a whole lot of watering until the later in the summer and i will just bring my hose down here and water that by hand because it's not that it's not like this main garden it's not that big you see i got a couple weeds that grew through uh, the winter but it ain't nothing compared to last before this is the only little patch of weeds in the whole thing so you can see this uh, DeWitt weed fabric that is linked in my descriptions is awesome. Less than 60 seconds and those few little weeds are gone. That's my garlic down there. My elephant garlic I got from Haas. No weeds. I can't wait till the main garden is covered in this fabric. It's going to make things easier and save so much time having the irrigation and the weed barrier down. So, anyway, I may have to change the name of the garden from Mimsy's Garden to the Poor Boy Garden. Because he actually helped me till a little bit. He helped me figure out this uh, irrigation system, which wasn't hard. I had most of it figured out for myself, but I just needed reassurance for him from him. And, uh... We did some measuring just to make sure of having enough. And we have plenty. Even if I didn't use drip tape on phase two, I've got enough drip tape left over that in a year or two, I can replace all this drip tape if I needed to. They say it lasts one year, but that is just buried under dirt without weed barrier over it. And since the heavy duty weed barrier that I'm using is a three year weed barrier, should be good to go for at least two full garden seasons. Check out that Hoss Tools affiliate link in my description. All right, hello guys. Sit down for a minute. Mimsy about to work me to death since they ain't got us working at the office. But uh, got out here today, uh, got the main pipe run. Got all the drip pipe laid in the rows, and she has started to cover them up. Uh, hardest part about it all trying to stop trailing water leaks. That was the hardest part, really. The rest of it was pretty simple. Never done it before. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Put it that way. So don't let it deter you away from tape down. It's not that hard. Uh, like I said, the water leaks, getting all your water leaks stopped, that's the main thing. So, but everything looked good. Uh, it was watering the garden part pretty good, so uh, I think we're good to go on that. Now, Terry's time to take a break. The only thing I wish is that I had that Hoss Tools double wheel hoe. So that's on my bucket list for next year's gardening season. I hope to retire faithful there. What a hoe. I know it's getting dark and you can't see much. Just wanted to show you every single row has its drip tape buried. 
that dirt mounded up so that will be planting rows and i'll be able to tell it under the black plastic or the weed barrier which i've started laying i'm finished for today oops sorry tripping over dirt clod but you can see got a good little section done that little small piece there is a little patch but right at the end of this trellis is going to be an arch going into phase two. So that's piece there. I left some grass there. Hadn't decided what I'm doing there yet. I may just leave it as grass. I'm not sure. Moonsy's garden is going to be pretty massive. A lot of plant space. This is the end down by phase two garden. Down here will be peas, beans, and squash. Then the trellis with some type of bean or butter bean or noodle bean, something that trellises. And I'll put something that trellises on this trellis. And uh, the main garden will be filled with tomatoes and peppers. And those trellises down there will have cucumbers on them. So I think I'll got a pretty good project going here for an old gal 50 years old i think i'm rocking it <laughs>